What's going on, River Rats? Sunny and 75 turned into 60. Cloudy. Gonna rain in a half hour. I think I just got a nibble. See what happens. Oh, poison ivy. Good, it's everywhere. That's how you know it's a good spot. Yeah, there's that wind. All right, it might be 20. Powering through it. Wow, this, that place is a freaking jungle. What's up, sky carps? And pelicans. Yeah, it's breezy, it's cooling off. I don't know what that means for the catfish, but whatever I'm fishing, I feel like this place is more silted in every time I show up. Come on, Bauer. All I got is four and five ounce sinkers, which I guess in this wind, it's not the end of the world. It's better than remembering nothing but half ounce sinkers. So that's a win. I don't have a lot of time. It's supposed to start raining and stuff. I don't mind the rain. Filming the rain kind of sucks. <coughs> but not fishing at all really sucks. So there's that. I'm going to be trying a nice little combination of chunk carp, creek chubs, night crawlers, all those goodiness. Take this dude and fillet him. There's some Mondo channel cats in this lake. Still, I'll put some big chunks out, some small ones, some night crawlers, because carp are all right too. They fight hard. Carp, take a creek job, chunk him up. It's gonna be mixed with some carp slime. Catfish gonna be like, uh, that's a funny taste in creek job. Hopefully they don't discriminate. Doing the double hook rig. I like this one because if they're not biting that great, you have twice the scent with smaller baits and you get catfish who aren't all tuned up. They come in to check it out and if they're not all tuned up, there's a smaller bait waiting for them, but it pulls them in from further away. This one I'll get a crawler and a chunk of quill back. With the worms, I just hook them like four or five times. Some people like a little more wiggle action, but I don't want it to be checking the bait all the time, so I feel better by hooking it more times so that it'll stay on there longer. Maybe that object's, that logic's the opposite of true. But yeah, I got a ball crawler on there. I don't know if that's true, if it actually works out that way, because you punch more holes in them than ruin the structural integrity of your night crawler. So, any worm physicists wanna give me think in the right direction? I'm all ears. Hey, we're fishing. Uh, it'd be cool if we started catching. Got some potential live action. Had a tight line go slack. Um, well, that was exciting. I like it better when they just slam it. If I wanted to catch a fish that hit like a bullhead, I'd go bullhead fishing. Come on, guys. You're better than that. Watched him peck on it that time. One of those. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. Ah, he might still be on there. It was loose and then it started tightening. Yep, there he is. Got him. <laughs> he ain't little. He's running at me, I think, or he came off. If he's running at me, he's fast. Yep, he was. 
That was, he just popped it and it went really slack. Yeah, he's not tiny. And um, there's a, oh yeah, nice channel rat. Exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, he popped it and ran at me and then turned around. I'm not picky. I wanted to see a rod get slammed, but this will work. He's got a big head on him like he's just got done spawning. Sweet. I was sitting here contemplating how the fishing would suck. That sucks. Sucks. Head sucked. And maybe I need to shave the beard. Thankfully, this helps change my mind a little bit. Cause I didn't want to shave my beard. How's that for a channel cat? He's fat and ugly, and he's not brown, but I still love him. And he fought like a champ, and I keep checking my rods, hoping one's gonna go down. He hit the big bait, so I'm gonna put another big bait on this one, and then uh, put a real one of those other ones and put a big bait in, because I would love to get more of this in my life. I wasn't sure what to think, what was gonna happen, so it's sweet when the plan comes together. Oh, yeah, he's bleeding. I gave him a boo-boo, but I'm not gonna kiss it to make it feel better. I'm not that kind of a filthy animal. Although I'm pretty filthy of an animal. Alrighty, buddy. Au revoir. More quill back. We have something going on. Some form of live action. There's going on on the right one. That one's got the crawler, so who knows. Uh, uh. I just totally threw one of them chunks off. Free meal for somebody. Like a bullhead, really. Nope. Got him. <laughs> Love being interrupted. This is a pretty nice fish too. Ooh, is he still on or is he running at me? All oh, those channel cats do that all the time. Flatheads never do that. They'll run at you, then they get all excited once they're close to the bank. Oh yeah, another nice one. Come here. Now I gotta keep an eye on that rod. Well, if I step down here, at least if that rod ends up in the water, I can have a better chance of grabbing it. Yeah, he hit it pretty good. Yeah, another. Another dandy. Short and compact and fat. Yeah, good hooks it. You never know, you know. Yep, I'm gonna need the tools for him. Is he still on? Oh, gosh, he slam dunked it. Took a step and fell over. Oh man, another dandy channel cat. Well, only thing better than a double is a triple, but um, we don't have any more rods in the water. God, he smoked. <laughs> He hit a chunk of sucker. <laughs> Giggling like a little little junior high kid. I may have caught the brothers. <laughs> oh. Chill out, I'm gonna let you go, but thanks for the tussle. Because it was a good one, both of you. Oh bless you. Alright, the dub release. He's charged. He's been out of the water a little longer. Oh. There he goes. Slime. Sweet. 
That'll work. Good thing that rod was secured well. That was a pretty wonderful kind of chaos. Alright, send him back out. The bait wasn't even out there long enough for me to worry about swapping the one that's left on there. I do like fresh bait still. At the end of the day, all things equal, fresh bait does make a difference. In my experience, good. I haven't been catfishing very long. Only since I was eight. Big chunks of quillback, two little chunks of quillback, none. Crawler, none. Big chip, none. Sucker, one. Wonder if it's, we're pre-front for sure. It's supposed to have started raining like a half hour ago, but. Mother Nature must have missed that. Or she's sparing me because I've had crappy fishing luck lately. Thank you, Mother Nature. And here comes the rain. Sure would be cool if the fish came along with it. Well, dog who poops fast don't poop long. That's what they say in a censored PG movie kind of way. I just realized I rhymed. Maybe I should start rapping. No, I probably shouldn't do that. Alright, one more fish. One more fish. Come on. Ugh, he's not so fast. He actually pulled a little drag. I sound muffled because I got my hood up. And I'm a weenie. Oh, wow. What is it? Is it a cat? It's a cat. It's a jumbo. He's not a jumbo, but he is worked up. Yeah. I like the other ones. They're pretty darn good. Get over here. He appears to be hooked twice. Well, he actually might be the biggest one yet. Ow. He just bit the crap out of me. Another nice one. Mother Nature's like, you're an idiot, you should go home. And she's probably right, if I'm gonna be quite frank, so. Uh, another sloppy one. I don't know, I'm pretty stoked about him, to tell you the truth. I like him a lot. He annihilated it. Au revoir, my grassy friend. Okay. Do I try to catch one more? Or call it an evening? Ah. If you like the channel cat videos, like the video. Let me know you like the channel cats. It's getting to be channel cat time year, flathead fishing with all the fall rain. Well, high water in the fall makes it tough. I'm gonna keep trying anyway, because I'm stubborn. I appreciate every single one of you and every, all, every single bit of support you give me. It really means a lot. I'm like one fist to the forehead away from T-Bowing, I just realized. T-Bow seemed like an all right guy. Thanks for watching. Hope you catch giant.